Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about solving another problem here on my truck. This is my 2024 GMC Sierra 2500 HD. I'm really enjoying the truck by the way, but I want to talk about a, a problem that I've noticed and what I'm doing to solve it. My problem, <laughs> this is truly a, a first world problem by the way, but it has to do with the the tailgate out back here. So on my truck, I've got the, the nice GMC multi-pro tailgate. This is probably one of the factors that influenced me to purchase this truck in the first place. I really like the functionality of it. And then of course I've got this nice tonneau cover on top here. I did a separate review on this. And so if you didn't catch that video, I'll put a card up above. Really like that tonneau cover. But uh, what I've noticed is when it rains, I get a lot of water inside the, the bed of my truck. And you know, most of the time that's not a problem, but if I'm hauling something that's sensitive to moisture or that I don't wanna get wet, then it becomes a real big problem, especially if we get in a downpour and I'm driving the truck around. And when I talk about water getting in the back of the bed, I should clarify that I'm not talking about along the side rails here at the tonneau cover, not even here at the, the bulkhead. The tonneau cover itself is doing a great job at keeping all the water out, including the seals where it meets up to the truck bed. I don't believe the water's coming in up here where the tonu cover meets the, the tailgate either. It's got a nice seal that's compressing along the full width of the tailgate. But what I believe is happening, all the water I've noticed is right here in the back where the tailgate is. And I believe what's happening is, if you think about it with this multi-pro tailgate back here, it's got this giant entry point for water that goes all the way across the width and then up on the sides. And so if you think about it, that's an opportunity for water to get in, especially along the top here and go right into here. And then almost like a funnel, it all kind of gets directed back inside to the, the tailgate. You know, with regular trucks, you've got to deal with this seal along the tailgate here and one on the other side, basically that's it. But with this multi-pro style, I think it, it allows more water to get in the, the back of your tailgate. So obviously they make tailgate seals that you can get for your trucks. And you know, honestly, for the last couple of trucks that I've owned, I haven't bothered with them because it's such a small amount of water that's come in through the sides on the tailgate. And so I haven't really messed with them and they're just kind of, you know, more trouble than they're worth. But with this multi-pro tailgate, I started rethinking that, hey, maybe one of those tailgate seal systems would work for me in this case and help keep some of that unwanted water from coming in through the back of the, the tailgate, specifically the multi-pro section. And so I found a tailgate seal kit that is specifically designed for GM trucks, you know, GMC and Chevrolet trucks with the multi-pro tailgate. And basically they give you enough of this seal, this is a pretty common profile seal, but they give you enough of it to go both the outer tailgate and then the inner multi-pro tailgate section as, as well. And so this is from ESI. I'll put a link to this in the description below. So I appreciate you using that affiliate link to help support the channel. But I wanna show you what it looks like installed and then we're gonna do a test with water with a hose and just see how well does it actually keep water out. But what I really like about this kit here is they've got some very, very detailed instructions about where to attach the seals. I mean, so someone took the time to go through here and very detailed you know, explanations of where to put the seal and everything. And then they've got even pictures here, close up pictures so that you can really make sure you get the seals in the, the right spot there. So I'll show you how I did mine. I basically followed the instructions verbatim except for this figure 7a this is the multi-pro the inner tailgate and they recommended adding another strip of the seal along the vertical section on either side i actually skipped this and i'll show you why here in just a minute but otherwise i pretty much followed their instructions to a, a t so we'll see how well it seals up you know, at the end of the day, doing these seals, you're, you're trying to kind of put a Band-Aid on something, right? Because tailgates really weren't designed to be waterproof in the first place. And so when you're using these seals, you kind of have to get creative sometimes. The locations of the seals aren't always ideal. And so I'm gonna show you where all mine are laid out and see if the results uh, solve the, the problem in the end. I'm gonna start with the close-ups on the main tailgate and show you how I seal that up. But I did want to point out that on the tonu cover, it does have this nice seal already from the factory and it does appear to be doing its, its job. But you can see here the seal that I've added along the side of the main tailgate. 
and basically it just follows the profile of the sidewall. You can see I started about an inch or so below the bottom of the bed and then it basically just follows the profile of that sidewall and then it kind of curves right here and again just follows that sidewall profile and then butts up all the way to the top of the rails for the the tonu cover and this seal does a pretty good job basically it's compressing against the side of the tailgate and then they also recommend adding a another piece up here they actually recommended using the smaller profile seal they give you two different ones they give you a little bit of this larger one and i actually opted to do the larger up here because i noticed the the gap was a little bit larger at the top here where it curves upward so that's what i did we'll see if it it paid off or not and then you'll also see up at the top they did not recommend doing this but i could tell just with light peeking through i used a light to kind of test ahead of time i could tell that there was going to be some issues going on some leaks coming in right up here and so i used some surplus to go up along the top I'm not a huge fan of this because you know with the tailgate going open and shut it's going to rub up along here and i've done this before on trucks years ago and eventually this this wears out but for this initial run i went ahead and put that little piece there and we'll see how it does but otherwise i just follow the instructions that they give you you can see at the bottom there i went ahead and did run that seal i don't know if that's entirely necessary this is really i think more for dust down here because water's typically not going to come up you know from the bottom there i did make a cut right here where this piece is i'm not even sure what this is it kind of i guess locks the tailgate into the the truck bed so that no one can steal it perhaps but i went ahead and did make a cutout right there because it just you know rubbed every time it closed uh, otherwise i followed it all the way along and you can see this lines up right along the bottom of that factory bed liner coating that they put on and it's the same story on this side on the right passenger side going all the way up so that's the main tailgate section really pretty straightforward i'll give you a close-up again on the passenger side where i deviated ever so slightly by using the larger seal and i think i ran mine just a little bit longer than they recommended i kind of tucked it up under the the trim piece here so it wasn't just hanging out but let me show you the multi-pro section because that was really for me at least what was new and, and kind of different with doing one of these seals and again they give you all the instructions all the pictures and everything to to walk you through it but basically it involves using the standard seal and making one continuous run on the the inside portion of the inner tailgate here that folds out and then following the curve and going all the way down across the bottom right here again one continuous piece and then ending all the way up on the opposite side i like this that it's you know out of view it really looks almost oem uh, at the end of the day but they tell you basically to leave about a quarter inch on the bottom from the outside of the the inner tailgate and then they recommended three-fourths an inch on the the sides i actually changed that to half an inch on mine because it seemed like it would seal better when it uh, marries up and, and touches up here. So we'll see if that worked or not, but that was the only area that I deviated on the intersection. And I'll just give you some real close up pictures so you can see how that seal follows the profile of the existing inner tailgate going all the way across, just one continuous piece there. And really it was just tricky, you know, getting it aligned, keeping it straight, but otherwise pretty straightforward. And then they also recommended doing the larger seal up here. Now they recommended doing a, a longer piece. I forget if it was two or two and a half inches. And the problem I found with doing that is that it would bump into this little stopper right here when you try to close the, the tailgate up. So I actually played around with it for a little bit and shortened mine up. And I think I brought mine up a little bit more forward so that it really seals up basically you're just trying to seal up this portion so that water can't you know roll over the top of this stopper because it's already sealed up nicely with this seal on the the inner portion so i kind of tweaked that just a little bit and then i also added this up here not thrilled about how that looks but i did notice there was clearly a gap at this point so i just added a a small piece up there as well i'll mention a couple tips that i learned during the install first they give you plenty of these alcohol prep pads so of course you can wipe down the surfaces and make sure everything's nice and clean and free of dust but one thing that i found very helpful is if you can do the install inside your garage where you can control the light and then you get an extra auxiliary light like this and put it on the inside of your truck bed just like this 
then as you're doing the seals, you can test close the tailgate periodically and see if you see any light leaking out where you're doing the seal, then you know already that you've got to adjust it because if light is leaking out, then of course water is going to, to leak in. So that really was very helpful. Another tip I'll mention, and they actually talk about this in the instructions, is when you're laying down the seal and you're peeling off that adhesive tape, you know, don't apply full pressure to the seal all the way around. Kind of just position it loosely first and just gently tap it in a few areas to hold it in place. And then at some point, test close and see if where you laid it, kind of tacked it into place temporarily, is the right positioning. And that way, if it's a little bit off, you can, you know, pull it off before it's final and reposition it. Then once you're sure that it's in the right spot, then you can go along and apply the proper pressure because it is a pressure sensitive tape, meaning you do have to apply pressure for it to fully activate. So you got a little bit of play there. If you just kind of tack it down gently, that really helped me out a lot. Now, what I want to do next is actually test it and see how effective this seal is at keeping water out of the, the truck bed. Now, part of that has to do with myself, the installer, you know, how well I followed the instructions and, and checked for light as I was installing it. But I am really curious. I just did this yesterday. We're not having any rain on the calendar for a little bit. And so I'm going to have one of my minions stand out here with a hose and just kind of go on the different sections of the seams of the the tailgate and then I'm gonna hop on the inside with a light and just see does it leak and I kind of think there might be a little bit of water at some different points we'll see but I'm hoping that the majority of the water is gonna be kept out I think he's up there in the corner okay so we got just a little bit on top there not too bad Nothing down there at the bottom, but yeah, we do have a little bit up there. Looks like the side is pretty good. Okay, yeah, a little bit at the top corner there. Not too bad. Let's talk about the inner one. Oh yeah, a little bit right there. Pretty good on the inner tailgate. It looks like maybe the top is where the, probably where the tonu cover hits it. Yep, same thing up there. There is a gap on that weather strip. Now, I think he's gonna do the tonu cover next and just see, that's obviously not related to the tailgate seal, but I'm curious to see how well it's sealing up there. Okay, so we're getting some over there. a little bit on that side as well. So that appears to be the weak point. So, all right, thanks Stuart. So yeah, basically we're getting some intrusion. I believe it's right where the tonu cover hits the uh, the tailgate there because there is a small gap in the weather stripping provided by the, the tonu cover. I believe this is where it's leaking on both sides, right here between the two seals. This is the seal that came with my tonu cover. And then this is the seal that I added with the rest of the tailgate seal. And I stopped it right here because when you open the tonu cover, this part where the gap is lifts and moves with the rest of the tonu cover. So I probably could add another piece of seal right here in that little gap on both sides and maybe that would, would fix the, the water coming in. And then I think I got a little more water intrusion probably along this seam right here, but, but not too bad. And I mean, this tailgate obviously was not designed by GM to be you know sealed up like this. And so there are a lot of different contours and it is pretty, pretty tricky. <laughs> Well, it just so happens that providentially we're getting a real nice steady rain shower today. So I figured might as well pull the truck out. You know, testing with the garden hose is, is great, but the, the real thing is even better. So I'm gonna let it sit out here in the rain for a couple hours and then bring it inside the garage and open up the tailgate and we'll see if there's any water inside the back of the bed. 
All right, guys, so I just got back from running an errand. So it's been sitting outside in the rain for probably two to three hours and then about a 20 to 30 minute errand. So I'm gonna open up the back and see how it did here. Okay, let me grab our, our light so we can see a little bit better. All right, so I am seeing just a little bit running down here, but that's coming from the, the uh, tonu cover seal up top. And I was getting a little bit of water, but not too bad. Still getting a good bit along the side here. You can see these two joints and along the side, not too bad though. It's looking pretty dry a little bit right there. That's coming from the top though. And then, yeah, pretty good bit. And really the, the bulk of the water that I was getting before was, you know, coming right through here and then along this portion here. But let me feel how wet, because this is where I would feel this after a couple hours of being in the rain, it would just be soaked. So this is damp. It's, it's definitely not uh, on the dry side. I mean, I can feel water, but not nearly as wet as it was. Let me check the other side over here. This is actually drier on this side. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, if I'm being candid, I'm a little disappointed. I mean, I would say, you know, if I had to guess how much water it cut down compared to before and after in rain like this, maybe, oh, maybe 50 to 70% of the water is, has been reduced, you know? So it's, it's not a perfect solution, you know, adding these seals. And I mean, at the end of the day, these tailgates weren't designed to be, you know, water, watertight, right? It just wasn't designed to be that way. So it's kind of an uphill battle. So final thoughts, would I do this all over again? Uh, you know, for the, the cost being about 35 bucks or so, yeah, I mean, I think it definitely takes a good bit of the, the water down and reduces it. And so if you're hauling stuff like me where you don't want it to get wet in a you know, heavy rain for 35 bucks, yeah, I would do it all over again. Uh, I think what I would do differently though is I'd probably just do the main seal areas along here on the sides. And then I think I would do the, the same intersection here that I did before, the, uh, the section that goes all the way around the perimeter. I think I would skip though initially these smaller pieces like this guy here and uh, the ones on the outside here. I'm not a big fan of how these look visually and I think over time they're gonna you know, wear out pretty quick. Um, in fact, in transparency, I actually removed the piece that I had here. I had a piece running here before, but even just a, a week or so of use, it was already getting worn down. So I think that's what I would do if I could do it all over again. And I, I might even skip this bottom seal because I really, I've never done this on a truck before, even when I've used the seals. You know, the water's gonna be rolling out anyway. So this is more, I think, for dust. So I probably would skip that one too. And basically just do the main seals first, see how it goes. And then if I need to add, come back, you know, over the course of a, a couple weeks and and add to the seals but anyway guys let me know what you think if you have any tips of course drop me a comment below i will include a link to the the seal that i bought there on amazon so i appreciate you using that to help support the channel as always thanks for watching